Hello, and welcome to episode 24 of my survival. I am here today on my world. I need to think of a name for my world. Anywho, today I am going to be enchanting my diamond pickaxe. I am going to have to sort all the farms out because I believe they have all grown. And yeah, I'm going to get some moss blocks as well. I've decided to go and get some moss blocks with some bow mill. So everything's coming up. Mill house. I hope everyone is doing well today. Whoever watch, well, I say whoever watches these videos. But I hope whoever does watch these videos. I hope you have a great day being Wednesday. And yeah, I am really excited for everything. <laughs> and, oh no, I've got no sticks. Have I? Um, I'll get some more sticks. It's okay. I've made them all into torches. You know, that's what, that's what I did wrong. But yeah, I need to repair my uh, iron pickaxe and I oh no, I have got sticks on me. Uh, it's because my infantry hasn't been sorted out since yesterday and yeah. And where's the, uh, there it is. And I just want to do that. It's a lot easier just to do that. Alright, so I need some lapis. That's what I came in here for. So I'll grab, uh, I'll grab 10 pieces of lapis. I don't think I need 10 in all fairness. Uh, I'm not doing any mining today. I, I did enough yesterday. Uh, yeah, I found out that my episode 22 did not post. I do apologise about that. Um, nothing I can do about that missed episode. It was recorded. It did not upload properly. And I do apologise. Right, I'm going to sort this infantry out because I do need to sort it. But now, um, what I was going to say... Oh, that's what I'm trying to yeah, that episode is lost, but as you can see, we, we've started making the barn, and we did other stuff as well, so I'm not going to grumble. Uh, right, to my enchantment table. <laughs> I want to enchant my diamond pickaxe and see what I can get. Uh, where's the... Uh, efficiency, efficiency... I can get a... I suppose efficiency is good because I can get... Um, Obsidian quicker. Oh, my horse is going to end up dying sooner or later because I do need to move it out the house and put it into the barn. But I can't be doing that at the moment. I'll probably do that tomorrow's episode. Uh, if if Claire joins me on that episode, that is. I don't need to cut any cows because they've not. They sp oh, sorry, they haven't despawned. They haven't. They haven't been taken out the barn. I do need. To do some fishing now, like I said, uh, I've got to get some string got off the spiders when I put the mobs on. I've got, got to do quite a lot of stuff. But today's first agenda is to sort the uh, farm out because the farms have been producing, as you can see. And I need to create some pumpkin pies. Um, What else can I talk about? <laughs> I don't actually know because this this episode is going to be a a mixed match of all stuff because I need to do a lot of stuff and I'm going to harvest the uh, yeah if I do no I need them if I put my pick pack uh, blah, blah. <laughs> if I put my pick axes away for now I can do this right I got that uh, didn't I just chop you uh, and it spawned again oh don't mind that um, there we go. Right, I've got to come down here now. The, this carrot farm is looking amazing. Right, I'm going to end up having a full infantry in a second. But that's fine. Because half of these are going to be planted and half of them are going to be made into bow mill. Because, like I said, I need bow mill to make moss blocks from cobblestone. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. No. I've got plenty of room at the moment. So, I ain't going to grumble. I just have to uh, watch what I'm doing. So, yeah. Cannot grumble one little bit. No, I don't want to eat. I don't need to eat one. <laughs> oh, gosh. The game. And then come down this side. Oh. I've run out of carrots. That's okay. I've got quite a lot. Of, I've got a lot of stacks. And again, I'll need yet another carrot. 
Yeah, I, I know I'm only planting carrots again at the moment, but I have got, like I said, I've got all the farms. I need to create bone meal, so I'm going to use basically that many to make uh, bone meal. Because, like I say, bone meal is very, very important for me at the moment. So I'm just going to craft as many as I can. I think that's going to do for now because I don't want to overfill the composter because I don't really need to worry and right let's get that let's get that again <laughs> they keep growing but that's okay I want to turn them into pumpkin, po uh, pumpkin pies anyway I can't even speak today gosh so yeah right let's get the beetroots beetroots are amazing I actually don't mind eating raw beetroot. I say raw, but pickled beetroot in a jar. Just open the jar and just get a fork and get so much out and just eat it plain. I, I tell you, I can't beat beetroots. Some people don't like beetroot, and I don't know. It's got a unique, unique taste if uh, you don't like it. But then, I'm not a fan of, well, say raw cabbage or, or cooked cabbage to some degree. I like pickled cabbage. And uh, I like uh, bacon with cabbage as well because the bacon grease makes the cabbage taste really nice. But uh, yeah, like I say, there's a lot of stuff that I don't enjoy eating and there's a lot of stuff that I do enjoy eating. But yeah, it's like cauliflower and broccoli, not my cup of tea. But people go mad over the cauliflower cheese. And when I used to work at the Tabby Carvery, I, I know that people ate that like through the barrel loads. We'd be on non-stop producing cauliflower cheese. Because it was one of the best sellers at the Carvery. Well actually I worked at two Tabby Carveries actually. The one in Broadway, Warsaw and the one in Sutton Park in Sutton, Caulfield. And yeah, I worked at a couple of, uh, I've worked at one Weather Spoons. I've worked at the... Oh god, uh, the cat and fiddle in Great Bar. I did a tr work trial at Farmer John's in Streetly. And uh, yeah, I, I, like I say, I, I've worked in multiple places. And I've even worked at Boots Warehouse in uh, Burton. So I've, like, I say, like I said, I've had multiple jobs. And also when youth clubs used to be a thing, I used to be a uh, worker at a youth club when I was 18. Yeah, volunteer at the youth club, but yeah, my dad was the youth club leader and of course I was getting paid for the youth club because that's what we do. And yeah, I enjoyed that job as well. But like I say, I, I, not many people can turn around and say they've had multiple jobs, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm the exception that loves having multiple jobs. And now I am currently doing YouTube. I have a few personal issues why I'm currently not at work, mainly because of mental health reasons and so forth, but I'm not going to go into that because that's my personal business. Only the true people who know me know why I have so much uh, drama in my life. I say drama, but it's, it's, it's just... Some people don't understand mental health and they think that mental health is easy to call them over and so forth. It's like people have depression and anxiety and people say, oh, just smile and get over it. You can't do that. I, I have uh, borderline personality disorder. I have, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you straight. I have a little bit of schizophrenia. There's, there's a, probably a little bit of psychosis in there. Maybe even bipolar at some point. I do know that... Um, with certain stuff, my mental health can be up and down. It was like um, earlier in the year, I was going to give this YouTube channel up. I wasn't going to post because my views were non-existent. My growth was non-existent. And yeah, there's a lot of negativity around my channel at the time when I just felt like that, you know, doing it and it wasn't progressing the way I wanted it to be. I was doing 
FIFA, I was doing 15 minute videos at times. Because, like I said, that was because I didn't know I could record up to an hour. Found out by uh, an online mate of mine called Jay, he helped me sort that out. My mate Paul did the first part of my channel with the 15 minute videos. He, he told me about it, like, and he, of course, he helped me through that bit, but at the end of the day, it, it just. Mental health isn't the nicest thing to have for most people. And there's a lot of people out in this world who, does, who do not understand what mental health actually is. And I think it's just take a couple of pills and you'll be okay. It's not the case. It really isn't the case. Because for me, I, I know there's a couple of YouTubers who I, who I watch who, who, who talked about their personal mental health on a separate channel from their main channel and i can relate to a couple of things about that but like i say this channel was going to be non-existent i was going to just going to give it up and say whoever wanted to whoever wanted to take it over just feel free i'll give them all the email addresses and everything else would it if it's somebody i know i wouldn't just give it to some random it'd be somebody i know who would actually benefit from this channel but I'm glad I never did give it up because I think it would have been a bad mistake if I would have looked back and regretted to do that. But no, I I am truly, truly grateful for every like, every share, every comment, even if it's a negative comment. Like I say, I, I look at everything positively because if someone wants to put a negative comment, that means they've watched the video. <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't, I don't judge people like that. I, I don't judge people at all if I can help it because we was brought up not to judge, and I know it's as humans we always judge because some or other goes on. But you know, it's part of life. As kids, we do judge, but as we get older, we, we don't judge as much. Which is superb. But yeah. Uh, I've got no more seeds apparently. Okay. Well like I said I'm going to make as much bow meal as possible. Sorry I'm going to empty my inventory slightly. I have got a load of berries that I can't plant. And I don't really want to maintain the uh, berries as such but yeah I've got berries uh, hello I, I put berries like that thank you I've got 14 pieces of uh, 15 pieces right. yeah I don't get much uh, actually no I'm going to do do that right let's do that I've got one oh gosh this this is not going to plan right that's what I don't want to do but I've got no choice at the moment so I need seeds oh, that's my farm I ain't gonna grow properly and I ain't got OCD as such but I have got a uh, I have got a lot of quirky things about me <laughs> but yeah I don't know if I can put pumpkin in there but then again I don't really want to give pumpkin away right let's put these carrots in that's, that's got me a bit more let's put the rest of this in right let's do eight so I've got enough to do nine I've got more berries, I suppose I could just get rid of the berries. Nine. I'll do ten. I'll do a ten I'll do a ten I'll do a stack of ten. There we go, ten. Right. Now that's done. Now I still need to go and sort out all the beehives. This beehive is I I am struggling to understand that one. I, I don't understand it, I don't get it. Maybe there's no bees around on like I say I do need to uh try and have bees to um to what you call it populate 
I thought I had a beehive. Now, hold on, I got that beehive, that beehive. I thought I had another one in this area. Maybe not. I know I've got a couple down in the other area. Three of them in total, I think. Well, that's more than what I need. But, yeah. But now, going, going like I say, going back with uh, other stuff. I, I like I say, um... I remember the first time I actually had depression, and I'm going to talk about this because this 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 sort of uh, made me stop and think what my mate said to me, my mate Chris. I'd be maybe 21, 22 years of age, and the doctor. Diagnosed me with depression and I went round to my mate Chris, he was on the uh, was on the PS2, playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 I think it was, the first Battlefront 2, the original, the best and we was playing that and I said to Chris Oh, no, what did I, no, what did I try and say now? I've got to remember now, I am 36 now, so this is going back, like I say, a couple of years. And... I was, he, he, oh, he was talking about something. And he says, how can you be depressed? When you, you, come, to, you come to see me and you're always happy, smiling, laughing and joking. But then... As Robin Williams did, he, you know, he liked to make people laugh and joke, uh, and have a, you know, and have them belly laughing, proper, proper laughing, and and you know, he, he sadly committed suicide. He did, which was sad, but you know, it's one of them things. And for me, I, I, I looked, I, I just looked at him and I says, well. You know, I, I like to see people laugh. Nah, so that, that's why that's my that's my personality. That's the way I am. I like to see people laugh. I, if I do something stupid, I do something stupid to make people laugh. And he's like, "How can you be depressed, laughing and joking like you are?" But you forget, people put faces on. People put brave faces on, even in their darkest moments and darkest times. It's what we humans do as a society. We, you know, we. we we hide our true feelings, we hide our true selves by having a mask over our face. And yeah, it really put into spect in into perspective that he truly didn't understand mental health. And anxiety, I ain't sure really what I oh now if you're in a massive crowd uh, and you're unsure about certain stuff and you get a little bit panic. I think that's what anxiety is all about. But I, the doctors put it down as anxiety and depression, but I don't really suffer in big crowds. I, I, I don't mind a crowd, a, crowd of, a crowd of people around me. I truly don't. And I know some people do. But when I got diagnosed with anxiety, I'm like, really? I don't know, it's one of them things, but then as, as time went on and I saw the professionals and I started talking about how I was, how I felt and everything else, I basically was with me, I was long term fostered. Now, I know about my blood line. I know my birth mum. Unfortunately, my birth dad yeah, sadly passed. He passed when I was about 10 years of age. So I never truly saw him. Because if I did, I was, I was, literally, I was born when I was put into care. So for 35 years, I was, I was until I was six, uh, 18. So for 17 years of my life, I was in care. My foster parents are my mum and dad. They know that. My birth mum knows that. And I know on my dad's side there was multiple mental health issues. 
and you know I, I I can come to terms with stuff I really can and with me like I say I, I, I found out what mental health issues I have which which are inherited unfortunately yeah which is you know schizophrenia part bipolar part uh, part psychosis and all that stuff that's inherited you can't catch that like common cold anxiety and depression can come and go in certain parts of people's lives but when depression really hits it comes back twice as hard and it is horrible it is vile and I wouldn't turn around to somebody who's got depression and say oh I'll put a smile on your face you could turn around and say do you know what I've been where you've been I understand what you're sort of like going through because oh excuse me uh, because with certain people you can be sympathetic you can empathize you can sympathize and you, you know like i say some people go through the same traumas uh with certain depression parts and certain uh anxiety stuff but never ever turn around and just say put a smile on your face and you'll be all right doesn't work like that doesn't work like that. and it really annoys me when people think like that and like I say, it's the nicest thing to have. It's not the nicest thing to do. We've day in, day out. Especially with uh, my, myself personally. I I have suicidal thoughts every day. But I would never act upon them. And this is my philosophy. It's a coward's way out. But sometimes that's the only way they can see it. It's, it, it is really. It's, in my eyes, it's a coward's way out if you commit suicide. Because... You can't face your problems head on. I know sometimes, like I say, like I say, some people look at it and like, yeah, all I got is dark, 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 and the only way I can be happy is by ending it. That's not me. I'd rather face my problems head on. I take my meds every day. Do you know what I mean? And I, 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 I try and plod on the best way I can. But if I can help anybody with mental health or any sort of issues that I have faced and came across in my lifetime, I will try and be as sympathetic as I can be and say, look, it does get easier as time goes on. At the moment, yeah, it is hard because it's in the moment. But moments always change. Stuff always changes. But if you, if you do, if you do take meds, and you do see psychiatrists, counsellors, and all them people, right, yeah. They only know certain stuff. They don't truly know the ins and outs of someone's life until you turn around and say, look, do you suffer with this stuff? And if they say no, well, turn around and say, well, look, you're supposed to be professionals, right, yeah. And all you can talk about is X, Y, Z. It, it don't work like that. And it frustrates the hell out of me. Because some people are so blase about trying to understand mental health that they don't understand it at all, and and they're just clueless to to how it actually is. But like I say, I I like I say, there's a few people out there in this world who who have gone through worse than I have with their mental health, and they've gone through the other side and they feel a little bit better. They're not perfect by all means, but they are better. And it's, you know, and it's understandable. It's realistic. It ain't nonsense to some people. Well, some people it's nonsense, but to others who truly understand and, and, and can generally sympathise with me. Yeah, it is one of them things that is in life does happen. Now, I remember... I remember my first part, well I'll say my first part, I had my first partner when I was about 15, 14, 15 and I had a girlfriend, but when I was, I think I was about 18, 18, 19, and I had, I had my partner at the time, 
gonna say no names because I am with that per person no more, and I don't. I haven't seen them pe that person for well over fifteen years or, or so. Uh, well, I'll say fifteen years or so. So it's probably about just over. It'd be about fifteen years actually. Yeah, because so I'm thirty six now. Twenty one. Yeah. No, I'll be twenty. Say twenty one. So eighteen. Yeah, about twenty, uh, about seventeen, about seventeen years or so, I'll give or take. Oh, I'm not actually that good. Look, okay, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and work out the maths because, tell me. But anyway, long story short, we went through a miscarriage together, and at the time that was happening, my brother, again mentioning our names. He he was set up on, he, he got set up on the night that my partner mis mis uh, was it mis no my partner miscarried first, and a few weeks later my brother my brother gets set up on by by a kid who he knew. Stabbed and burned him, set him alight, literally set him alight. Doused him in petrol and fucking put him to you know, set him alight, set him on fire. Sorry for better swearing, but this this is dear to my heart. And as I was grieving, you know, the miscarriage of my first child, you know, happy days, you know, going to be a dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tragedy hits the uh, family. And my brothers, my well, brother, Darren, and my sister, Donna, turned around and said, I was selfish. I was selfish. Because I couldn't see my brother first, I couldn't see my brother Ian. I was going through a miscarriage. And they said I was selfish. Now, now how, how, how can you grieve, right, yeah? How can you grieve? How, how can you grieve, right, yeah? The loss of your first child through miscarriage. You know, some of that's through nature. Through, you know, genetics. At the end of the day, it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be, but I'll tell you now. How can you be selfish for grieving over your own child not being in this world? And then your own bloodline gets stabbed and burnt and you, the other siblings turn around and say you're selfish. Because you're going to see your brother straight away. When I did get around to see my brother Ian, I, I tell you now, I tell you now, it, the best way I can describe it is Emperor Palpatine out of Star Wars. He was that bad. He was in Sally Alk Hospital. He was on... Vend he was on the uh, machine for his lungs. He had bags over his hands. He had multiple scars, scars of burns all over his body. And like I say, the only way I can describe him is Emperor Palpatine or Lord Vader after he, uh, after Mustafa, uh, after Mustafa with everyone and himself, when he became the Lord Vader with the suit. And you see the suit game put on him. That's how bad Harry was. Right, yeah, and I, and I was distraught when I saw him. I wanted revenge. But I read in the newspaper articles afterwards. After I, after I um, grieved. And, and you know, sacrificed what I sacrificed with my own child through miscarriage. And I went and saw him. I wanted revenge, like I say. And I read that this kid was going to get parole the first first time he came up for parole. He was getting him. I'll tell, I'll tell you this now. He's probably out now, right? Yeah, somewhere in England. Under a new name. Right, yeah. Hasn't told anybody about his past. And he's living free. Now, my brother, luckily, right, yeah, made, made sort of... I come back. Is he is as he is as burnt as anything, right? Yeah. He lives somewhere in Wales. That I know of. That's what I heard. He was somewhere in Wales. Right. How can one person justify being free after doing that? 
boy or crime to my brother. How can he be free after that? Attempted murder and setting someone on fire. Intent to wound and, and intent to kill. And he gets parole after a couple, uh, about six, seven years. He gets parole. Our justice system is so screwed up, right? Yeah. That it's just laughable. But like I said, I want your revenge. But you know what? The best thing I did was not get revenge. Because it wouldn't have helped my brother. It wouldn't have helped me. It wouldn't have helped the family. But I'll say this though. I don't see my sister, I don't know. I don't see my brother Darren. Because I don't need their negativity in my life. If you've got toxic people in your life. Pardon me. Pardon me again. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. And I'll say this now. You would you would feel five times better, if not ten times better. You wouldn't. You don't need them. You don't need their crap in your life. I'll tell you now. I'll tell, I'll tell you that now. And like I say, I, I'm lucky I am. And and I'll tell you why. Because I have some amazing friends. I have an amazing support of networks that help me daily. Like I say, my medication, they're there, that's uh, there, that's there to help. I don't see the psychiatrist until I think it's December. I have it every six months. They ask how I am, and I say, yeah, I'm all right. No, I ain't all right, you know. you got to be honest with them. Because some today's right, yeah, like today, I'm positive I am today. Even though I'm talking about this stuff, I'm positive. Yet tomorrow will come, and I could be whatever I am. Because you don't know from one day to the next how you're going to feel with mental health. And I always say this, if you have got friends who have mental health, support them. Just say, I'm a phone call away, or I'm a text message away, Facebook messenger, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a video chat away. Do you know what I mean? And that's what they need, they need that little bit of support from their friends and, and family. And just to reassure them that look, no matter how everybody gets, like they say, there's always somebody worse off than yourself. And that's the truth. And I'm running around here looking for them... Uh, Oh God, what am I after? Them portals. The half, the half portals that were around. I'm trying to rob the obsidian. So that's why I'm running around. I have a name. I have a goal. I need to find where the obsidian is. But now, like I say. Like I'm saying. The support network for friends is what people need. Now I know, I ain't spoke to a couple of people for a few years, and there's, there's, there's been, I, I won't say there's been issues as such, but there's just been a lack of communication because uh, we've lost contact. But I do know, when, he does, when my mate does get back in contact with me, we'll pick up where we left off, and it would feel like we've been speaking for f f years. And it's been a couple of years since I last spoke to him. And that's my mate Russell. And I'll tell you what. He. He was amazing. As soft as it sounds. He did do a lot of, lot of help with me. Because he was that kind of guy. That was his personality. He helped anybody. He was understanding. And I got my gun mate Blazing Dragon. And I see him weekly. Uh, I, I keep in contact with Blazing Dragon. A good mate. Another good support network. Where he can jump on video games with me and give me uh, 
a bit of entertainment with uh, certain games because I enjoy his company and he's a good mate for that and he knows about my mental health. Uh, Paul, another mate of mine. He never understood my mental health. He never did. He knew I had it, but he, he couldn't grasp the... Uh, he, he couldn't grasp the, uh, what's the word I'm after? The concept of, of how severe my mental health can be. And yet I've got my partner Claire, who is 12 years younger than me. She's 24. And she understands it quite well, because she's got family members with the similar mental health and I couldn't ask for a better partner I'm going to rub some of these roses for the uh, bees at home uh, there's nothing that I can't find what I'm after and it's starting to frustrate me now because I remember seeing them around I'm gonna have to get up high. I know I'm near. I know I'm near one. Sure, I'm sure of it. If I'm not, then I've then I've gone the wrong. Then I've gone the wrong way. Uh, ah, just what I was after. Uh, parkour. Wait, hey, parkour is good. Now, I can't see nothing but treetops. <laughs> Reminds me of Endor and uh, Kashyyyk out of Star Wars. The Wookiee Iron World Kashyyyk and Endor was where the Ewoks lived. Return of the Jedi. But uh, no. I, 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 uh, I am thankful for the people I've got in my life and the people I have had to uh, get rid of out of my life because of the negativity. But. Today I'm gonna, I might have to end the video here and uh, carry on looking. I, I am. I feel like I am lost slightly because I thought from around here I would have seen a uh, never portal esque style thing. So I remember it was by the village, and there's the village there. And I am very much mistaken. But now I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go back to that village. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I might go back to that village actually and uh, save, save it there and then come on tomorrow and try and find the. Uh, Portal, I should say, because it needs to be done. It does, it does, it needs to be done. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's not good, right? Let's get my pickaxe out. Okay, let's let's just get some cobblestone on, along the way. Right, let's get this video done and dusted because it's gone on for too long and I haven't done a great deal apart from sort out the uh, weight. Uh, I don't sort out the sugar cane. I sorted out the beehives. Sorted out the uh, carrots, potatoes, beetroots, sweet berries. I sorted all that stuff out. But now I thought I was uh, closer to one than I expected, and I got turned around. But you know, it happens in Minecraft. I don't go back through my videos to uh, look at what coordinates it was. I just know it was nearby and I am somewhat a little bit lost. Well, I'll, I'll find it. I might do a little bit tomorrow off camera to find the portal and then bring you in when I find it. But now I'm going to say uh, my goodbyes in a second. Uh, hmm. What house do I go? <laughs> Um, 
you know what? Do you know what? I am gonna do it on this composter. <laughs> Just because. Right. I'm gonna say thank you very much for my uh ranting. Well, well, well it's not really a rant, it's just philosophy. Trying to understand the world. But now I'll say thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the bell for notifications. And until the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget to post daily contents as well. And until the next one, I will say bye for now. Bye.